In this next video, we're gonna talk about automations. The automations are quite simple. We only have a few of them here. So starting off with this first one, this is for any time a new record is created in the categories table, it is then going to take that particular category and add it to the category single select field. As a reminder, in the example that we showed, we have marketing automation, sales CRM, and customer support platform as our three categories. As you recall, we had those three categories, single select fields as well. The next one is going to be anytime a new record is created in the categories table, it is then going to find the company that you have and it's going to input your company name under the my company linked record field. The purpose of this automation is to then bring in your company website as well as your known competitors that you've already filled out. Similar to that particular automation, we have link company for each new competitor. So that means every time a new competitor is created in the competitors table, it is going to do the exact same thing and add in your company information into the my company field. This next automation, if you recall, whenever we use AI to look at our known competitors and then identify other lookalike competitors, we then have the ability to edit that information. And once we're happy with the types of competitors that are on that list, we hit that checkbox saying these are our confirmed competitors. It will then go ahead and add in all of those competitors into the competitor linked record field. What that means is that all those new competitors then get added into the competitors table. The final automation is capabilities, target market, and most recent updates. And this automation is gonna look at our competitors table. It's gonna look at the capability score, target market AI, and most recent date fields. And whenever those fields are updated, it will then update those values into these different fields. So for target market AI, it's gonna put that into the multi-select field. Again, that's for visual purposes. The most recent date field is simply gonna take the most recent date from company news and also marketing campaigns, and it's going to paste that value into the most recent update field. What that one does is it allows us to filter out when we wanna see recent updates. We can filter out by specific time frame. So right now it's set to the past 60 days. So you can see any updates from your competitors over the past 60 days. The final one is going to take the capability score AI field. It's gonna assign a specific score, whether it's none, weak, neutral, or strong and then apply that to the performance on key capabilities multi-select field. Again, strictly there for aesthetic reasons for the dashboard. That sums up the automations. If you wanna learn more about interfaces or data layer, feel free to watch some of the other videos that are associated with this particular template.